Hey, in this video, I'll teach you how to read the Cyrillic script. We'll go over the alphabet symbols, how to read and pronounce them, how to quickly memorize them, and we'll do some practice examples so that by the end of the video, you'll be able to read Cyrillic with ease. Here we go. Many of the Cyrillic letters appear in the Latin alphabet. Either they're written and pronounced the same way, Either they're written in a similar way but are pronounced differently and there are also obviously letters that are written in a completely different way but the pronunciation may not be unique. One thing to note is that letters from Slavic languages written in the Cyrillic script are quite phonetic so there is no variation in pronunciation of the consonants or the vowels. So group one are letters that are written and pronounced the same way. So a is always pronounced A. E is always pronounced E. K, M, O, T are always pronounced respectively. K, M, O, T. Let's go over some practice words together. Tom. Meteo. Tok. Keto. Tam. So far so good. Let's move on to the next group with letters that are written the same way but have different pronunciation. So B is actually the Cyrillic sound V. So the B is actually a V. The backwards N is E. The H letter is actually the N in this case. The P is R or R. Uh, the C is S. And that's probably easy to remember as C already starts with the sound S in uh, English and in most Latin languages. The Y is U and the X is H. Think of uh, Harry Potter and the little scar that he has on his forehead. Kind of looks like the same. So Harry, H, yeah. So let's see what words we can construct now with the letters that we know. Victor. Start. Nomer. Universitet. Getting the hang of it? I'm pretty sure there's no translation needed. Time to tackle the most challenging part. Group 3. Letters that are written in a unique way as far as the Latin alphabet is concerned. Uh, some of the letters are borrowed from the Greek alphabet, so you might know them already. So let's dive in. The B sound in Cyrillic is written as this. You can easily remember it by thinking that the regular B is a line with two half circles and this one is a line but instead of two half circles it's another line and then a half circle. This is G, the G sound. You can easily remember it as it actually makes a part of the letter G if you just look at the bottom and you flip it over and it kind of looks like G. So that's the G sound. D, D. If you strip away the little uh, tails at the bottom, it kind of looks like a, a D anyway, so it's just the easy way to remember it. Next up is Z, the Z sound. Uh, I would say this is easy to remember because it kind of looks like a snowflake. So when it's winter and it's cold, what do you do? You Z. So I guess that's the sound that you make when you're cold, Z. Next up is Z, the Z sound. Kind of looks like uh, you're zigzagging while you're writing the letter, so I guess that's a way to remember it. There's also this letter in cursive Latin, so many of you have already seen it, so it should be easy to remember. Next up is the L sound, or borrowed from Greek, it's the letter lambda. Next up is the letter P, the P sound, borrowed from the Greek letter pi. Next is the F sound, F, borrowed from the Greek letter phi. This is T. Uh, I guess in a way to remember it is it kind of looks like a combination of T and S, so it makes the T sound. If you think that the little tail represents T and then the other part is S, maybe that's a way to remember it. This is CH, the CH sound. Kind of looks like the number 4 and actually I remember when I was a kid, that, that's how I actually remember this when I was learning the alphabet and the numbers is that the word for four, the number four in most, if not all Slavic languages, is Chetiri. Yeah, so it starts with the sound 
N with the letter that looks like 4 anyways. Maybe that's a way to remember it. Next up is SH, the SH sound. Uh, it looks like uh, you're shushing someone through your hand and you're also making the, the sound SH, just a way to remember it. Next we have st. it's the same but you just add the T sound and the little tail at the bottom looks like a T anyways. Then we have U. Uh, I remember this letter by thinking that it looks like you kind of merge together Y-O-U and it also that also makes the sound U. And we have the mirror R which is a Y-A sound, a uh, Ya. Yeah. Kind of looks like you're merging together Y and A anyways. That wasn't so bad, so watch that part again if you need to before we move on to some practice uh, reading examples. So here are some words with most if not all of the letters that we have learned so far. Grip Stuttgart Café Covid Business Challenge Situatia, Geneva, Shock. There are three more letters that are not individual sounds, rather they are sound modifiers. We have the mirror and the E uh, with the little accent on top. It's called E shortened or E kratko. It is used to soften the sound of a vowel in words such as Toyota. Yo-yo. Basically it serves the function of a Y as in English, just to soften uh, a vowel. Here we have our small or er malak. It's called that way because when you flip it over it looks like a Slavic R. Um, it's used to the same effect as the E shortened, but to soften consonants in this case. For example, this word would be pronounced gyo with the R small added, but if you remove it, it would be pronounced Goal. And lastly, we have big R because it has the little tail at the end as compared to small r. Uh, it's used to bridge consonants with a hard U uh sound. The I letter is often used to the same effect in English in words such as bird or girl. An example of this uh, sound modifier in Bulgarian would be very easy, Bulgaria. And that's pretty much the alphabet. Uh, there are some unique letters in the Russian and Serbian versions of the Cyrillic script, but this version encompasses most if not all the necessary letters that you're going to see and sounds that you're going to encounter. Before we move on to some practice examples, drop me a like if you find this uh, video helpful, much appreciated. Now that we have all the knowledge and tools of how to read Cyrillic, Let's phonetically translate some English sentences. I am not from Bulgaria. He lives in Sofia. I want to learn Bulgarian. I am a university student. Is it hot in Greece? Stuttgart is in Germany. United States. United Kingdom. I found that this method of learning a different script is easy to grasp and to practice. I highly encourage you to install Bulgarian Phonetic on your keyboard so you can practice your skills when you're texting your Slavophone friends in English. Check out the link video in the description on how to install a Cyrillic script keyboard on a PC, a Mac, an iPhone, an Android phone, a potato, or whatever device you might have. Then armed with a Cyrillic script keyboard, share your thoughts in the comments down below, but using Cyrillic script characters. All right, we've reached the end of this video. Drop me a like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Victor, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.